The true genius shudders at incompleteness, imperfection, and usually prefers silence to saying the something which is not everything that should be said. Beauty of whatever kind in its supreme development invariably excites the sensitive soul to tears. It is by no means an irrational fancy that, in a future existence, we shall look upon what we think our present existence to be as a dream. And so being young and dipped in folly, I fell in love with melancholy. I wish I could write as mysterious as a cat. If you wish to forget anything on the spot, make a note that this thing is to be remembered. Words have no power to impress the mind without the exquisite horror of their reality. Never to suffer would never to have been blessed. Believe nothing you hear and only one half of what you see. Those who dream by day are cognizant of many things which escape those who dream only by night. I was never really insane, except upon occasions when my heart was touched. All that we see or seem is but a dream within a dream. There is no exquisite beauty without some strangeness in the proportion. I remained too much inside my head and ended up losing my mind. I became insane with long intervals of horrible sanity. Science has not yet taught us if madness is or is not the sublimity of intelligence. There are some secrets which do not permit themselves to be told. Deep into that darkness peering Long I stood there, wondering, fearing, doubting, dreaming dreams no mortal had ever dared to dream before. With me, poetry has not been a purpose, but a passion. Even in the grave, all is not lost. The boundaries which divide life from death are at best shadowy and vague. Who shall say where the one ends and the other begins? There are chords in the hearts of the most reckless, which cannot be touched without emotion. The ninety and nine are with dreams content, but the hope of the world is made new, and this hundredth man 
who is grimly bent on making those dreams come true. Mysteries force a man to think and so injure his health. Art is to look at, not to criticize. To elevate the soul, poetry is necessary. I dread the events of the future, not in themselves, but in their results. Experience has shown, and a true philosophy will always show, that a vast, perhaps the larger, portion of truth arises from the seemingly irrelevant. We loved with a love that was more than love. And all I loved, I loved alone. Deep in the earth, my love is lying, and I must weep alone. That man is not truly brave, who is afraid either to seem or to be, when it suits him, a coward. Man's real life is happy, chiefly because he is ever expecting that it will soon be so. Men have called me mad, but the question is not yet settled whether madness is or is not the loftiest intelligence. Stupidity is a talent for misconception. Sleep, those little slices of death, how I loathe them. It is the nature of truth in general, as of some ores in particular, to be richest when most superficial. Years of love have been forgot in the hatred of a minute. A story must always have a single mood, and every sentence must build towards it. All religion, my friend, is simply evolved out of fraud, fear, greed, imagination, and poetry. Let my heart be still a moment and this mystery explore. There are few cases in which mere popularity should be considered a proper test of merit, but the case of songwriting is, I think, one of the few. The idea of God infinity or spirit stands for the possible attempt at an impossible conception. I felt that I breathed an atmosphere of sorrow. There is an eloquence in true enthusiasm. Invisible things are the only realities. Where the good and the bad and the worst and the best have gone to their eternal rest. The depth lies in the valleys where we seek her and not upon the mountaintops 
where she is found. To observe attentively is to remember distinctly. It is far more easy to get up than to come down. There are few persons who have not, at some period of their lives, amused themselves in retracing the steps by which particular conclusions of their own minds have been attained. I would define, in brief, the poetry of words as the rhythmical creation of beauty. And I have not told you that what you mistake for madness is but over-acuteness of the senses. Because it was my crime to have no one on earth who cared for me or loved me. If we cannot comprehend God in His visible works, how then in His inconceivable thoughts that call the works into being. The best things in life make you sweaty. There is no beauty without some strangeness. Actually, I do have doubts all the time. Any thinking person does. There are so many sides to every question. My heart beat calmly as that of one who slumbers in innocence. Art is the only method by which one can penetrate the shapeless empirical world in the search for order. In the heavens above, the angels, whispering to one another, can find, among their burning terms of love, none so devotional as that of mother. Happiness is not to be found in knowledge, but in the acquisition of knowledge. I smiled, for what had I to fear? There are certain themes of which the interest is all-absorbing, but which are too entirely horrible for the purposes of legitimate fiction. Oh, what a tangled web we weave when first we practice to deceive. That pleasure which is at once most pure, the most elevating and most intense, is derived, I maintain, from the contemplation of the beautiful. A million candles have burned themselves out. Still, I read on. It will be found, in fact, that the ingenious are always fanciful and the truly imaginative never otherwise than analytic. And my soul, from that shadow that lies floating on the floor, shall be lifted nevermore. The realities of the world affect me as visions, and as visions only, 
while the wild ideas of the land of dreams became, in turn, not the material of my everyday existence, but in very deed, that existence utterly and solely in itself. There are two bodies, the rudimental and the complete, corresponding with the two conditions of the worm and the butterfly. What we call death is but the painful metamorphosis. Our present incarnation is progressive, preparatory, temporary. Our future is perfected, ultimate, immortal. The ultimate life is the full design Decorum, that bugbear which deters so many from bliss until the opportunity for bliss has forever gone by. For the moon never beams without bringing me dreams. The object, truth, or the satisfaction of the intellect, and the object, passion, or the excitement of the heart, are, although attainable to a certain extent, in poetry far more readily attainable than in prose. In our endeavors to recall to memory something long forgotten, we often find ourselves upon the very verge of remembrance, without being able, in the end, to remember. Whether people grow fat by joking, or whether there is something in fat itself which predisposes to a joke, I have never been quite able to determine. The agony of my soul found vent in one loud, long, and final scream of despair. Convinced myself, I seek not to convince others. From childhood's hour, I have not been as others were. I have not seen as others saw. I could not bring my passions from a common spring. Love like mine can never be gotten over. No pictorial or sculptural combinations of points of human loveliness do more than approach the living and breathing human beauty as it gladdens our daily path. The customs of the world are so many conventional follies. The pioneers and missionaries of religion have been the real cause of more trouble and war than all other classes of humankind. We want characters, characters, man, something novel, out of the way, we are wearied with everlasting sameness. Come drink, the wine will brighten your wits. To him who still would gaze upon the glory of the summer sun, there comes, when that sun will from him part, a sullen hopelessness of heart. It would be mockery to call such dreariness heaven at all. A feeling for which I have no name has taken possession of my soul. <laughs>